Hi Taurus, I hope all is well. This is your weekly reading for April 10th to the 16th, 2017. I'm doing your usual Crooks on Sata spread with the Tarot of the Orishas, okay, for those who are new to my channel, okay? All right, Taurus, so for your starting point, what you have, you have a message from Earth, okay? So you could this could be you giving a message to somebody else, or this could be you getting a message from another Earth sign in your life, like a Capricorn, another Taurus, or a Virgo, okay? And with this, uh, there's some kind of delayed communication with this. It could be about your finances, all right? So whereas... The job that you're in right now, maybe they were supposed to pay you on the, what is it, the 7th? I'm doing this on the 7th, so maybe they were supposed to pay you, and it's like, okay, they're saying that, okay, I'm going to push it, like, to next week or the week after, because of uh, spring break. All right, so I do feel like spring break is uh, manipulating uh, the time that you get your finances, okay? So, like, if you work in a school, for example... You're not going to get paid until like the week after. Like if you got paid already, that whole week is going to go by where it's a missed pay. Whereas you would just have to get paid starting from the midweek onward. All right. And having to get the paycheck on that next Monday or something crazy like that. Okay. So with this also, if not a job situation, I do feel like um, you have an earth sign person at home or earth sign partner that is uh not communicating maybe they're not feeling good and, they're, and you're trying to figure out okay what's going on with them and this is you you're not feeling very well and people are trying to communicate with you as to like what your needs are what your physical needs are do you need to go to the hospital do you need to uh um do you need a bottle of water do you need something that's going to make you feel better is what it feels like so what it feels like to me is that you have people or situations around you that are trying to aid to come to your aid is what it feels like to me all right in your second position what you're waiting on you have the six of water here so i feel like you're waiting on a cancer scorpio pisces this could be someone that you're already with this could even be a person that uh out of your past but i feel like this person is already in your present you're waiting on them and i feel like you're waiting on communication from them uh towards you possibly about another earth sign like i said and with this uh there's some kind of emotional situation going on with this maybe some tears it doesn't have to be negative but i feel like i feel like there's laughter like it doesn't feel like sad emotion to me like it feels like you're laughing so much that your eyes are watering um because something's going on, it feels like a, it could be a housewarming, it could be a party, it could be some type of celebratory in, uh, situation that's going on here, where there's some happiness, alright, so you could be waiting on something to come through in terms of, okay, what time are we going to get the party started, what time are we going to get things going, alright, it could even be like a rehearsal dinner, like somebody's getting married and they're doing like a, a run-throughs of how they want the wedding to go, how they want to walk down the aisle, etc., okay, yeah, if not that kind of situation, I do feel like um, there is a little bit of sadness associated with this card with your emotions, but it's not extreme. Like, it's not extreme sadness to me. It just could be news about someone in your life and you're finding out something. Uh, I feel like you're finding out something about them that may be jerking some emo emotions in you, but they're not negative necessarily. Like, I don't feel like they're extremely negative. I just feel like... Um, uh, I feel happy tears, but there's there's tears, but it's happy tears. Is what if it's not terrible? Is what it feels like to me. Okay. Um. Hmm. In your third position, what you have, you have the seven of air here. The seven of air is like um, it can be like internet communication for me. So how I also feel, and with this um. I'm feeling traveling solo, okay? Like somebody could be traveling solo. Maybe this uh, situation here with the with the happy tears. Maybe someone's going off to school. So that's why I felt like it, it wasn't extremely negative. I do feel positivity with this. You could be traveling if you're married and your spouse lives in, the, in another country. You're traveling to see your spouse. Maybe there's some kind of separation going on between you two. But I feel like as this person is coming in, it's bringing in happy emotion back into your uh, energy again is what it feels like and I feel like this person is traveling to you but they're alone so if the traveling solo doesn't represent you it could represent the person that you're tied to they're traveling alone um, they could also be traveling with a posse of people it feels like a surprise to me so it feels like um, this could be a surprise party 
okay it could be a surprise party some type of surprise event is going on here um hmm and i also feel like somebody is trying to communicate something to you feels like a pop-up surprise the, it, it's like someone that you haven't seen in a while is showing up out of nowhere basically all right or you're observing this happen to somebody else around you and they're the ones that are traveling to do this interesting all right um in your fourth position in your future you have the four of earth okay penny pinching saving money all right with this i'm feeling a cruise so maybe you're trying to save money for like a, a a cruise ride with your loved one with your partner it could be that cancer scorpio pisces partner and with this uh you're taking too much don't be careful of traveling with too much stuff you don't want to overload all right so just be careful of how much you're traveling with you could be traveling to see someone uh that's not well that's in the hospital okay you could be traveling to see uh i feel like even an uncle there's an uncle that is traveling to see you and they may be bringing you a gift of money because maybe you uh, had some type of financial detriment in the past. So that's why they're like bringing in money, but it's not a lot of money. It's only a little bit to get you off the ground. I feel like this could even be money left by left for someone like in a will and they're like finally getting it, getting their cut out of it. I feel like it kind of finally came to close and they're getting it is what I feel. Oh, you're hearing about this. Okay. Uh, because of some kind of situation here. And that could be what's bringing on the happy tears. But when something comes through financially, that's always a great thing. And also with this, some of you are moving house. So there's some kind of move associated with this, uh, uh, money situation so i mean whatever you got that came to you financially i feel like you're you've managed to save enough money to possibly take trips to possibly move into the house that you wanted to move into etc okay so great on that in your fifth position you have your instincts okay you have the five of earth here Use your instincts about people not paying you enough, okay? So if you do have, like, an in-home business, if you do run your own stuff, like, at home, be very careful of um, people stealing your ideas, number one. People not giving you, people promising. I feel like you're a little bit lax in terms of, like, if you do run your own home business, like, for example, you bake cakes and pastries and things of that nature, and you sell them to people, and they're like, okay, I'll pay you back the 10 when I get my next paycheck, and then they go ghost on you for, like, another two, three months. You didn't hear from them. They didn't give you your money back, okay? So use your instincts in terms of people paying you back, all right? Don't be so giving, number one make sure they pay you back <laughs> they may hmm, it may be like another five weeks even i mean they you have some trust issues with this person and they could be an earth sign all right where they said they were going to pay you back and they didn't so just make sure that uh you keep it on them in terms of paying it if not that i do feel like uh if this isn't financial, I do feel like in terms of time, you feel like there's some type of time loss with a person. It could be a nerve sign. You regret not having had spent time with this person. All right. They could have been someone that crossed over, but I feel like uh, you regret not having had spent time with this person. They could have went out to school. They could have went somewhere. They could have traveled away far. There's some kind of far distance that they're going away from you and you regret not having had spent time with them. Or if it's going to be your instincts, be very clear. Like if you are highly intuitive yourself, be very open as to like, okay, this stuff is going on with this person. Maybe I should spend more time with them. This person is in the hospital. Maybe I should go visit them more often. Life is always changing. Okay? Don't just stop. Make sure that you make the time for your family. Whether you're... It doesn't matter how busy you are. Just make sure that you manage to spend time with your family members when you can. Okay? That's very important. In your sixth position, you have the five of water here. This represents grief and sadness and loss okay so uh whereas there could have been some kind of loss in your family and that's why uh you're you're having that uh feeling of not having had enough time with the person okay if not that uh not uh, if not a person that crossed over, I do feel like this could have been someone went off to school and you didn't get to say bye to them when they left. Or this could have been like your spouse and they're traveling farther away from you for business, etc. And maybe you didn't get a chance or maybe the phone cut off. I feel like you were talking to someone and the phone cut off and you were like 
expressing how you felt about them and then beep the phone just clicked off and that's bringing you in some kind of sadness too associated connected to some uh a person in your life all right and with this um i do feel like uh there's some need to take off of work, like I said here. That's why you're needing to travel to go see someone. You have to pause on your work a little bit. I also feel like you you may be even like drowning in emotion. It doesn't, you know, drowning in emotion. Like when I look at the card, that's what I see. Like it seems like someone is really drowning in their emotions. They're a bit sad. But uh, you will get through because you are in the picture. The person is holding on to a branch. So you will get through. You do have people around you that are consoling you, that are helping you. Okay, that's not extreme negative it's just um it's just expressing uh you know the deep sadness but in the terms of that it's not extremely negative in the terms okay uh it's a five so you will get through it's it's something that um and life is, is constantly changing so i don't feel like it could have been a job where the job like i said if you were in a job that wasn't paying you enough you leaving it but it's not the kind of job that you're going to be, you know, you're, it's not going to, you're not going to be stuck in this sadness for long is what I feel like. Okay. In terms of if this is a job loss. Okay. And with this, um, I'm actually feeling like, uh, I don't feel more so you, but maybe, you know, someone around you that miscarried and that's why there's some kind of sadness here. All right, there's some kind of uh, miscarrying situation. And I feel like um, you, you could be consoling the person. The person that miscarried, you're consoling them. And that's why uh, that's an accomplishment for you. They're thankful to have you around, like I said. They feel bad for not having have been there for you when you ha had not having have been. You felt bad for not having have been there for them when they miscarried. And that's why it's like, uh, you know, they want you by their side now is what it feels like for me. Okay. In your seventh position for your spiritual self, you're working very hard. You have the eight of earth here. So you, it's an eight. So you're almost to that 10 in terms of working hard. You're doing very well. Your job, I feel like you shut down people who were kind of like trying to like rule over you, trying to step all over you. You shut them down. And I feel like you kind of like continued on being your true self is what it feels like to me. I feel like you managed to... Uh, Take the time and do some type of like uh, inner work in terms of like meditating, making sure that uh, you eat properly, that you take care of yourself also, okay, to make sure that it's not to say that you're doing it for other people, you're doing it more for yourself to make yourself feel better. All right. And anything to do with health, like in terms of like, uh, you know, internally, physically, you making yourself feel better by also getting rid of toxic people and toxic relationships out of your life whereas it probably brought you in some kind of grief to have to have let someone go but they were toxic for you i don't mean a person that i'm, I mean, I'm talking about a person you know that's living and, and that's living okay whereas this person was really toxic you know they they were telling you off they tried to like talk you down but i feel like you managed to come out of that now you worked very hard to come out of that is what it feels like okay and with this i like i was i always feel trust issues i feel like you have someone it could be a cancer scorpio pisces that feels like uh they there may be some element of they may feel that they can't trust you up to some certain extent okay so maybe you're not coming home when you say you're supposed to etc all right so i feel like um in in terms of your spiritual self some of you may even be clear audience where you can hear this person's thoughts you can hear people's thoughts basically that's what clear clear audience is being able to hear what other people are thinking basically okay and with that uh what is that clear audience clear sentient yeah you can hear how they f you can hear them so it's like they're telling you one thing but you hear okay i don't like this i don't like this person i don't i really don't like them they're saying they love you to death but then it's like in their head they're like i don't like them at all all right so that's just an example of like what clear audience is so i feel like some of you are working toward learning more about it too i feel like that's something that uh you had to discover i feel like your past like i said this the six of water represents your past so i feel like you had some weird situations going on in your past you may have had issues with uh, a father figure in your past they may have been abusive to you and i feel like 
I'm not saying that that's what had to happen in order for you to discover this about yourself. I'm saying that, like, in terms of, like, your spiritual self, some extreme things have to occur sometimes in order for you to really see and learn about who you are spiritually. Drastic changes have to sometimes have to occur in order for you to learn more about your spiritual self, okay? Like, for me, I went through, so I went through complete shit in order to really discover who I was. You understand? Right. Okay, where was I? In your eighth position, you have your mentality. You have Oshumar. Good luck. Represents Oshumar. Also, uh, I look at Oshumar and I see the snake right in the middle. So be careful of snakes. Like I said, be careful of sneaky people around you. Okay, again. Like I said, you worked very hard to get rid of those people, to get rid of those toxic relationships. Good job. Okay? And with this also, I do feel like uh, you are, like I said, you are eating healthier, you are cleansing, you are uh, dieting, exercising more, etc. Okay? You're doing that. You're taking the necessary steps you need to do in order to better your health, your, your mental, physical health. Okay? And with this, I feel like... Um, you possibly are even taking trips to beaches. You're trying to you're trying to take a, a trip to the beach. I feel like the water the weather is kind of like nice. It's really warming up, and you're taking some kind of trip, okay? Or you're at least it's your mentality. So at least you're thinking about taking a trip to the beach, all right? And enjoying that. Be careful. Um, be careful of crabs. If you're by a beach where there's a lot of crabs, be careful of those because uh, I feel like and snapping turtles as well. They may be uh, biting. So just be very careful. Wear the necessarily protective uh, uh, garments you need as you're going by there. All right? In your ninth position, you have what's changing. You have the air element. Okay? So there's a re relationship with an air sign that's changing around you. All right? I feel like this could have been even an abusive person, a verbally abusive person. But they're not verbally abusive anymore something could have happened to them where they may have confessed something to you that they did to someone that was that you were close to or they could have confessed something to you uh on the relationship front they could be uh apologizing for something that they've done that hurt you really bad is what it feels like that put you into this state okay with the five of water all right, and I feel like um, the truth has come to the light about a situation, and that's why this is changing for you. I feel like you're now going to know how to move forward here, okay? Whereas in your future with the four of earth, now you know how to move forward based on truth that this person brings in for whatever reason. And it, it's there's a boost to your finances here, okay? For your resolution, you have fairies and sifts, okay? This has to do a lot with your creative self. All right, I feel like new ventures, new artwork. Okay, if you are into art, you are um, discovering new forms of art. So that's a great thing to look into. And with this, I also feel like finishing school. So some of you are finishing school. So that's a great thing to accomplish also. Uh, having having finally had the money to do so. All right? With this, though, um, hmm, watch out for professors who may be a little bit needy. Professors kind of ask for extra work that sometimes they don't even need, possibly, but they just want to be annoying. So be careful of people uh, asking too much of you. Okay? So if you're doing well already and they're like, okay, that's not good enough, just know when to cut that off. Okay, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. What do you mean I'm not doing good? I turn it on my work, all right? And be very careful of this person for whatever reason. It could be this air sign, all right? If not a school situation, they could be trying to uh, tell you a fib about something and you're just not buying it, okay? You're just not buying it. I feel like you're using your spiritual ability to know that this person is lying. All right. So really what it feels like to me is getting down to the truth for you this week. Okay. Getting down to the truth about a situation. It could even be uh, about a person in your life that you were very close to. And also about yourself possibly moving into a clearer mindset. Having had let go of some kind of toxic relationship. Okay. All right, then, Taurus, that concludes your reading. Happy Easter to those who observe the holiday. If you have any personal questions, concerns, or would just like a private reading, please email me at hassaniife777 at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you always. May many blessings come your way, and have an awesome week. Take care, Taurus. Bye.